Right. So I want to preface this video um, by saying that I love Ubiquity products. I use them quite extensively. They have been um, fantastic products. So <clears throat> with that out of the way, I did have a Unify Cloud Key Gen 1 recently die on me. Now it gave me two years of service in a school environment, which basically, uh, you know, it was in a broom closet uh, for, for two years. And at least the first part of that was quite literally in a broom closet. Uh, but it has given up the ghost, at least over PoE. I can get it to come up via USB, um, but for, I, I, for some reason um, it will no longer power up via PoE. Um, so, what to do? Well, I looked around and I did not find a video of how this thing came apart. And being curious myself, I decided, well, let me dig into it. So, uh, before we do, uh, I'll just I'll save you some time. There is nothing serviceable in this thing. Um, it was very it seemed to be very well engineered, um, but it is not meant to come apart nicely, nor is it meant to go back together nicely. So with that said, how does it come apart? Well, there are no screws, and there are no there, there's no glue either for that that matter. Um, what happens is if you look at the Ethernet jack. On the one side, you can see that there, uh, the, the plastic's not connected. So that was the first clue. What happens is you have to pry. <laughs> it does not come off that easily. Trust me. Um, you pry that off, and it doesn't uh, doesn't take much much force to actually pop it open. It's only held in there with snaps, but um, it it makes this thing very uh, clean. Right? And there you have it. So inside we have a basic board, a very simple, basically single, single board computer. Okay, it just it, there's nothing holding it in there except for just maybe those little grooves in the back. Okay, so here it is. I don't care about serial numbers or anything like that because I, I'm I this is well out of warranty and I have taken it apart. I do not uh, I'm not going to attempt to turn it in for warranty or any of that nonsense. Um, it gave me two years. It lasted pretty well. So um, here we have the USB side, the SD card, which thankfully I was uh, I did have an SD card in there and I was auto backing up, so no harm, no foul, really. Um, my guess is that I haven't taken a multimeter to it or anything, but my guess is that something on this side of it died um, because we can see that we have our PoE transformer there um, and the, uh, the hardware Mac for the Ethernet connect connection. So something there died uh, because it no longer powers over Ethernet. However, it does power up via USB. So. <clears throat> The other side is just a big old, probably magnesium, uh, integrated heatsink that seems to be held on by epoxy. Um, I've tr given it a little bit of a pry, but that doesn't come off very easily. Uh, same here. Same thing. Same thing with the uh, aluminum heatsink that's on the, I imagine the sock, the s system on a chip. Uh, there's some epoxy that you can see that holds it down to the board, and it goes all the way to the board. So. Not really much that you can do uh, to service or to, um, to to fix this thing if it dies. But it gave me two years. Um, it was plugged into a UPS, so I didn't have any of the MongoDB uh, corruption issues that uh, other people mentioned with these Gen 1s. Um, to put it back together, um, the, fir the first thing that you need to do is you need to put the Ethernet side in. So put that in at an angle. Um, and make sure it lines up because it does have a little bit of play to allow you to push it through. And then all you have to do is kind of just push it back. Doing this one handed here, but you push it back, and now that is even on both sides. And then you can replace this. There's the piece of plastic that appeared to be um, not quite lined up before, right? That was the hint that this is what uh, or how it came apart. We put that in, and it does go back together 
pretty nicely with a little bit of a snap. Um, putting this back together, I didn't, it didn't look like anything was, uh, was broken. You can see some nibbles there as I was working a screwdriver back and forth, but, um, yeah, once it got started on the side, it popped pretty, it popped off there pretty well and it's not coming out. So that's, that is inside of a Unify Cloud Key Gen 1. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.